Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, we uh, did get this for free uh, in exchange for honest opinions about it. So uh, we have already done an unboxing of it. Now we're going to actually assemble it and uh, put it in place so that we can actually use it. And uh, but we're going to show you how how this works. <laughs> All opinions are our own, and this is the bean tower from Gurney's. Yes. Uh, basically came in this fairly small box, folded up. Uh, so with says, instructions. Yes, with the instructions right here. Yes. I know you need those, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm gonna need. Them. Okay. It says to unfold the uh, the bottom piece, which is is this big ring. And then insert the bottom, the bottom pole, pole into. Okay. There you go. Figuring out exactly where the clips are supposed to go. It looks like there's a some holes right underneath that yeah. bottom. I'm, I'm yeah. Just, I'm trying to determine. I think this is a really great product for people that have limited space, or that are tired of dealing with the netting or strings or whatever you're using to grow your pole beans. I think it would also work great for peas or, you know, other vining plants. So they call it a bean tower, but I just think you so many different potential uses for this. Oh, so they both go on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they both go on the bottom. Okay. Uh, trying to put it in the wrong way. Okay. Do you want to bring it a little closer so we can see? Since I can't really zoom the video. Well, I'm just trying to make sure I've got this uh, got it right. Yep. Because it looks like it's a really nice set of instructions, but sometimes those small pictures are a little hard to figure out. Yep. And it looks like those clips are really firm. There we go. Okay. So it's supposed to keep the double rings on the top and bottom apart. You want to bring it up here so we yeah. can... I just have to... Yeah. Get up and come up here. <laughs> okay. So... Here. There we go. Okay. So, do you see this? I put it in this? between the two pieces. Yeah. On the top, on the top and, the and on the bottom. And there is actually a... Uh, uh, pre depressed hold. Well, yeah. the, the holes go all the way through, but on one side it's it's actually depressed in, okay. and the other side is flat. When I was at first trying to do this, I was trying to go through the wrong side. It works a lot easier going through the uh, where it's depressed in, and then you can find the other side easier. Okay. Now. Okay, go down just a little bit that way. Okay. Yeah. Here. Um, a little bit more. Maybe closer to that stick. I I want to make sure that I've got room in here well, to walk around it. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. Now that you 
found a hard spot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, let me get off camera for a second. Okay. I'm getting the sledgehammer. <laughs> Does it really take that? <laughs> no, but I don't have just a plain hammer. I do have the sledgehammer. So. Okay. Well, I use, if. I use what's available. Okay. Yes, if you use this, be very careful that you don't damage it. So a regular hammer will work. If your soil is really soft, you know, freshly tilled, something along those lines, it'll probably go in very easily. But this soil is inside of my tunnel house and it's pretty dry. So it does look like it sets a little bit above the ground, Jeff. Um, it says to drive the pole with the base ring assembly uh, on it into soil up to bottom of base ring. Okay. Okay. So the picture is deceiving there. So that's quite a bit of driving in the ground. Yes. Well, this way it stays very stable. Yes, I can see that. Especially if we're outside where high winds and things can get, get to, to it. it. Yes. 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 So I, I like that. that It does give plenty of depth. Um, let me set that aside. Okay. Yeah. Here to have an have upper downside. Yeah. Okay, so we, we got the upper pole on. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, uh, and it has started raining now, so we've got extra background noise. Um, but uh, it is together, and uh, the next stage, the next step, this goes on top of the top pole, which when I stand up, you're not going to be able to see it because of the uh, unless she moves the camera. <laughs> okay, so this goes up here and just fits into the top of the pole. Okay. And then you just uh, choose a spot with the twine, like you start at the bottom, and you just work your way up and down, weaving it up and down through the, uh, the framework. All right, we're going to watch you weave. Okay. Great. <laughs> I'm not the weaver. <laughs> <sighs> and I will pan back down as he is. Are you starting at the top or bottom? Um, I figured I'd probably start at the bottom. Okay. Um, Let me pan back down. It does say just tie one end of the string to the base ring and loop it alternately over top of base rings. Okay. So. So how many strings? Um, it basically just uh, you know shows. Um, looks like maybe five sets of strings so a total of 10 10 lines okay. up and down okay but I mean it probably just kind of varies with how much you want to do um, and maybe what you're growing yeah yeah I mean if, if you've got something that uh, are you just doing a double knot I figured that's what I'd start with okay something more and no no I don't think it it doesn't take a lot to hold green beans okay. ah I see how that goes <laughs> <laughs> keep hold of the string
I was curious about that because it's got more at the bottom than it does the top. Yeah. And like I said, it shows only doing about five sets. Yeah. So, but I think we want to, I think we probably want to do more than that. Well, yeah. So, I'll just, and I'm just doing a, a simple loop. I'm not like tying it in place or anything, so. I don't think it needs it, honestly. I think as long as it's tight, it'll be good. Especially since we're inside with this okay. in, in a tunnel house. Yeah. Where we don't have to worry about wind and, and yeah. all of that. You know, wind and weather. But, uh, oh. I'm going to go ahead and pan this up. This is what the bottom looks like. And then you're going to tie it off on the bottom again? Yeah. Once I hit there. Yeah. So <laughs> then he's going to go down and tie that off on the bottom. And then it's going to be my job to plant some bull beans on this. So, and Gurney's does sell a wide variety of vegetable seeds. So when you order your bean tower, you can easily pick up your bean seeds to go right along with it. You have extra twine if you need to replace it. Um, I would not expect twine to last more than a year or two. I could be wrong about that, but I would think that, you know, maybe every season you would want to replace it anyway because the vines are going to grow up and get pretty tangled up in that twine. Yeah. So. so. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, let me pan it up a little better. There we go. There we go. Um, so actually, uh, relatively yeah. simple. Um, yeah. Now that I'm hidden behind the strings. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I think this is going to be. I think it's going to be fun. great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we do have it a little lopsided at the moment, but I think that's okay. That's okay. Um, I don't think the beans are going to make you know. They're not going to care. care. Um, no. But. Uh, this gives us quite a few strings for the beans to climb. Yeah. And I think that's gonna be, you know, a very nice thing. And it it does come back apart so you can store it easily. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And I think that's part of the, the twine at the end of season. You can take it down, pack it away, pack it with the, the twine that you have extra for the next season. Um, since we have it inside this, uh, Cold frame. We, tunnel house. Or tunnel house. Yeah, just change out the just, crops on it. Yeah, change out the string every once in a while. Yeah. But uh, we won't have to actually take it apart and store it or anything like that because, well, we don't have, you know, we're, yeah. we're not dealing with, you know, a, a constant change. No, I, th I think it's going to be really great. Yeah. So. Exactly. Really, really pretty simple to put together. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, it looked like it was super easy to put together. Yeah. And even if we did want to straighten it, I think it would just be untying that last string and tightening it a little bit, maybe two people to do that. Well, I think I think it's the pole that's actually Oh, you put the pole in crooked? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, but what I just noticed, there's also an inner ring yes. up there. So you could also run the twine to the inner rings if you wanted something that, that if you needed more 
line for, for stuff to uh, climb. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and if you run out of twine, I mean, there's, there's alternatives on, you know, I, I don't know. Well, should... Gurney's probably sells some replacement twine. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so anyway, this is the bean tower from Gurney's again. Yeah, very cool. From bottom all the way to the top. And we definitely like this and look forward to using it. So thanks for watching and have a great night.